everyone, this video is going to give you five options for recording audio files and adding them to your Google Forms. So there's many different ways that you can record audio and save them to your Google Drive or download them to your laptop. But I'm going to give you five options that work to add them to your Google Forms so that students can listen to your audio files in your forms. So the first two options are going to be Chrome extensions. Moat is a very popular one. The Moat extension, once you add it from the Chrome Web Store, they have a free version and a paid for version. What you can do is click on this in your extension list and then and as soon as you click in this box, you can start recording. I'm going to add this recording to my Google Forms. So after I record, I get a link. As you can see, the link comes right here. It automatically copies to my clipboard, but if I'm not sure, I can just click this purple button again. And then I can come right down here to my question, and I will paste it directly in there. And when I look at the student view, it opens as a link. So if I click this on any device, it will open in a new tab and I have access to the recording. I'm going to add this recording to my Google Forms. So the negative, in my opinion, is that it opens in a new tab. The positive is it's super quick and easy to record. There is a 30 second time limit, but do have the option of saving and downloading these recordings to save in your Google Drive. They do save in the Moat website for later viewing or getting the URL to add it somewhere. The other Chrome extension I'm gonna mention is Talk and Comment. So once you add Talk and Comment from the Chrome Web Store, the icon looks like this, and you'll actually see it populate right over here to the right hand side. So you can do this on any web page, but we're focused on forms in this video. So if I just click on this, I'm already recording and it records automatically. I click the green check mark and it gives me an automatic link copied. All right, now this does not give me an option to download or save and these expire after 90 days. So this is nice if you're doing some quick recordings, but if you want these tests to stay for a very long time and use them year after year, you may have to re-record each year. So it's already copied to my clipboard. So if I wanna come back to this and I want to edit out the moat recording, I can now put in the talk and comment recording. Now, if I go back to student view, what's really nice is if I have the extension. So if your students have the extension installed, it populates just like this. I'm already recording and it records automatically. So the students can actually listen to the recording right inside of Forms and not open it in a new tab. But that is only if they have the extension installed. If they don't have the extension installed, it will open like this. So same thing, you'll click on it, it'll take the students to a new tab. I'm already where they can listen to it there. So having that extension for students is really nice. This is a really nice feature of Talk and Comment that if the kids have the extension, it'll actually play right inside the forms. Talk and Comment does not have a save or download option. And like I already mentioned, there's a 90 day expiration on the recordings, but they do give you unlimited recording time. You're not restricted like Mo to those 30 seconds in the free version. The next two options are going to be online audio recorders, online voice recorder and Vocaroo. So the online voice recorder is really nice. As soon as you go here, I mean, the record button's right here. You don't have to install or download anything. It's completely free. I'm recording right now, and it shows my voice recording as I am recording. When I'm done, it only gives me the option to save it. So I don't have a link that goes along with it. So I can save it, bring it down here, and add it to my Google Drive. And then I can share it that way directly into the form. I can get the link from Google Drive and populate it right into the form. So I'm going to grab that share link. You'll definitely need to remember to change your viewing restrictions so that they can view it if they're in your school domain. You can always open it to anyone with the link, but you're going to copy that link from your audio recording in Drive. And then you can come right back to the form. I'm going to take out the talk and comment note and I'm going to add my share link in. And then again, when I open it in student view, this is what the students will see. And once again, just like Moat or talk and comment, if you don't have the talk and comment extension, it opens in a new tab, a Drive viewer option. I'm recording and the students can listen to it right there. So Google Drive is definitely a viable option with your online voice recorder. Um, one nice thing about online voice recorder, it does give you some editing tools over here. So you can trim off the front end or the back end of your audio recording before saving it. The next one is Vocaroo. So similar to online voice recorder, when you go to the Vocaroo site, you just have this red microphone that you click on. It probably will ask you to allow your microphone the first time. So if I'm gonna record, I am recording this right now to show Vocaroo. 
So super easy to record. I can play it back if I want to. If I don't like it, I can go back and re-record. But if I'm ready, I can click the save and share and look at all the options Vokaroo gives me. Not only does it automatically give me a quick link that I can copy, but I can actually embed this somewhere. I can populate a QR code for it. I can download and save it. And the download option is really nice because Vokaroo only saves for 90 days or a three month time frame. Since there's no login, there's nowhere to save your recordings. So if you want this for later, you may want to save and upload it to Google Drive, just like your online voice recorder option. There is no time limit for a recording. So both online voice recorder and Vocaroo offer the unlimited recording time, and they are both free options. So if I take this link, I've already copied it, and I come back over here, I'm going to get rid of my online voice recorder file from Drive, and I'm going to populate it right in there and open it in student view again. And same thing with most everything Everything else I've showed you except talk and comment, I click on it, it opens in a new tab for the student to listen to. I am recording this right now. So I like both Vocaroo and Online Voice Recorder. Both are super easy to use. I probably prefer Vocaroo over the Online Voice Recorder just because of all the extra options it gives me for embedding QR code and other things when I use it for other items as well, not just in forms. So the last option to talk about is YouTube. I know we usually view YouTube as a video tool, but this way you can actually insert directly into your form using YouTube if you just record your audio. So a couple ways you can do this is, and I use Screencastify for this, but you can use any recording tool, screencasting tool like Loom, Screencastify, whatever you want to use. So this was really nice, super easy because Screencastify allowed me to edit in the free version as long as my recording is under five minutes. Once I got it to YouTube, I actually did one where I showed myself with a webcam, but but there's also another option where you can just zoom in on the question with Screencastify and just read that question out loud. So how I added in a YouTube video, so this was directions for the test, so I'm gonna grab my shareable link. And I made these unlisted so that only students who had access to the actual video can see it. Nobody can search for this video. So if I come over here, and since this is just directions for the test, I'm gonna click on this question and then add a video. And then I'm gonna paste my link for my video, select it, and it populates right in here. So when the students look at this, they can play it. Please read through the entire. So they're able to see me talk to them. And so if I was reading a test aloud or reading questions out loud to them or giving them direction to the test, I can add this right into there. So it is a video of me, but it's really just for the audio. Now, if you're not comfortable with putting yourself out there in a video, you can do it this way. With Screencastify, with the editing tools, it gives you the option to zoom in on a certain question. So I just screencasted my Google form and then zoomed in on the question. Please state and define at least one new word you learned in class today. So that was just an easy way to read it out loud, um, reiterating what question I'm reading. The only thing I don't necessarily like is that I can't actually put this video with the question that it goes with. So one way to maybe help with students who might need the test read aloud is I would probably section each question off and make it a new section. So I would have video, then question, video, and question. These are just five different options that where you can add audio directly into a Google form. My favorite is the talk and comment option that that as long as the student has the extension, the audio plays directly in the Google form. However, if you're on an iPad device or something else, or the students cannot install extensions, all of them kind of perform the same with opening in a new tab, but you have the ease of use of adding audio to your Google forms. I hope this helps you decide on different ways that might benefit you to add audio to a Google forms, test quiz, exit ticket for your students.